The restaurant is open, it's open, it's open. The restaurant is open. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's open. Got a lot of energy for this morning. <laughs> How romantic. We're heading to Café Plauscheren for breakfast, which is right outside of our apartment. Anna usually has a lot of energy in the morning, and I'm the opposite. I need a coffee first before I can wake up. I can smell the food. It looks so cute. I have a coffee with cappuccino. The Viennese breakfast comes with two rolls and jam. This cafe reminds me of the one in Friends or Gilmore Girls. Ooh. Snowflakes are getting bigger, but as soon as they touch the floor, they melt. So it's not going to stay around for long. Ooh. I feel so much better now. I feel like I have more energy, not as much as Anna, no. but still a lot more than earlier today. After coffee, my energy drops. <laughs> I could take a nap right now. <laughs> Look at this. It's all white oh. everywhere. Take the streets. Oh, I love it. The transport system in Vienna is so convenient. Everything has run super smooth so far. I'm glad we invested in the three-day ticket because we've used the public transport a lot. Beautiful, but so busy. If you're from Vienna, let us know if this is normal. <laughs> I know, I keep seeing you. I look away for a second and they're gone. Turns out we were only like two meters away from each other this whole time. The mass is starting, so we have to leave. We've been kicked out. We're stuck in this crowd for about 15 minutes now, just trying to get out of the Stephansdom. So what we recommend is check which weekends are public holiday weekends and don't come. <laughs> and carriages and the old buildings it really looks like I'm being transported back in time except there's a lot of people which brings me back to reality this is Christmas market number three in the snow You can put incense inside the house and then the smell comes out of the chimney. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's perhaps the smallest market that we're gonna visit today or in this whole trip. So it was far. just one small street. It's cute though. It was. But it's also very busy next yeah. to the church. So we're gonna try to get away from that and get a bit further out in the city. We're nature people. We don't do well with crowds. <laughs> <laughs> These are edible Christmas ornaments. That's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> and we're seated again for another coffee. Like every 30 minutes we have to warm up somewhere. <laughs> so cute. I got a small chicken. I didn't realize how small it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> Is it finished? <laughs> oh, it's delicious. This is a dobus torte. It's like layers of vanilla sponge with chocolate buttercream and caramel on top. Check out these layers. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's <laughs> left eating a block of sweet butter. Good thing my hot chocolate is small. <laughs> Nice little emphasis on the little stop. <laughs> now we're going to walk around a little more in the center of Vienna. We found an empty spot in Vienna. We just stumbled on the Michelerplatz. Just trying to find some information about this square. It says, great square, beautiful street, striking architecture, Roman ruins, construction going on. <laughs> nice historical location, a must visit when in Vienna. A very beautiful place, but impossible to stay there for long. It's just Google reviews. <laughs> Vienna is like walking through the set of a period drama. Just a magical city that everyone should visit. We drove, <laughs> we drove around here and got stuck behind a horse and buggy. Beautiful place, a messy, prepared for volume of tourists. That's true. Very true. The famous Demel Cafe. Look at the ceiling, it's like a museum. We're not stopping here because we already have our bellies full of cake, but we just wanted to see it from the inside. Beautiful. Wow. This isn't Christmas, I don't know what it is. Gingerbread house. It's real gingerbread. Wow. That's the Stefan's dome we were just in. Oh, that's magical. We're going to hop onto the U to the outskirts of Vienna to head to Schönbrunn Castle. I don't think you want to see another metro ride, so we're going to speed it up for you. We've arrived at Schönbrunn Palace. We've read that there's a little hill that you can walk up to get a view of the palace, so we're going to see if we can find it. <laughs> it's snowy here. It also feels a lot colder than in the city center of Vienna, which must be why there is still snow. So when you enter the grounds of Schönbrunn, you need to take a ride in order to get access to the garden, which is free, by the way. And I think that's also where the hill is. So we're going to check if that's correct. We're not too sure, but let's see. Everything is so large and dispersed. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Imagine the princesses running through the gardens here. <laughs> Careful, you don't slip. <laughs> so, you think this is the right way? Looks like we have to go that way. That's where most people are heading towards. So, where are we going? Just a very beautiful spot. <laughs> <laughs> we got distracted. I can't believe how much snow there is. It must also be really pretty in the summer when this whole arch is covered in roses. Wait until you see how far away this hill is. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to make it. What? You already saw it? Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it. It's a hike. That is far. <laughs> it's far, but it's so beautiful. I feel like we need to. We just need to run. You think we can make that in half an hour? So I there and back in half an hour, 15 minutes each way. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a try. Are we running? Okay, yeah. starting. Run, 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 run. Just don't fall. For a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> we're still very far, but we're taking all the shortcuts possible. We're still managing. <gasps> it's a tough climb, but this is so cool. There's so much snow here. It would be a perfect mountain to slay down. That would be a good idea if we only we could find a sleigh. And we are, I think, halfway. Almost got me! I honestly don't mind if I miss the entrance time to Schönbrunn Palace. This is just too much fun. We made it to the top of Schönbrunn. Check out the view. If only you could fly the drone here. Yeah. It says no sledging. Too bad. <laughs> Someone was daring enough to walk on this lake. I would not want to be the one falling in. How much time do we have left? Like 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes 15 left. Minutes. Oh. 
That was easy. <laughs> Still have to get down. <laughs> it's like we've traveled from a Christmas wonderland to a winter wonderland. <laughs> you really get an amazing view of the city from here. It's a great vantage point. And you can see the lights of the cars glistening in the distance. <laughs> Maybe we should stand still. Okay. I'm glad we made it up the hill and now we have to hurry back down because our entry slot is in 10 minutes. I'm honestly going off road because it's way too slippery on the path. So I'm gonna go onto the other side, which is a lot safer. There's a lot more snow. Wonderland. The path is there, we're going down there. <laughs> We've chosen the steep path, but it's actually the safer path. There's such a thick layer of snow, at least at least 20 30 centimeters. In Dutch, we say dick pak sneeuw. It's way too slippery. So we just dropped off our bag at the cloakroom and heard that we're not allowed to take any pictures or videos inside. That's a pity. We'll try to describe in as many words as possible what we thought of it after. <laughs> An hour later, we made it out of Shinbun Palace. What did you think of the place? It was very impressive. Every room was like super detailed and very well kept. The, the detail was just everywhere, in the walls, in the furniture. It was really beautiful, I think. Very worthwhile. Yeah, it's quite impressive inside. There's like between 30 and 40 rooms. At least that's the ones that are accessible to us. Each room is quite unique and there's a story behind it. So I find it quite interesting. Yeah, it was cool. We got an audio guide, which lasted around an hour. And it was quite easy to follow. Not too much detail, some interesting facts. Mozart performed at Schoenbrunn when he was still a child. 16, right? Six. Six? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Six years old. That's crazy. And the audio guide talked about how all the empresses got like married off uh, at a very, very young age for political reasons. Very interesting, worth all to come and visit. And now we're going to see the Christmas market that's here in Schmindbun. Yeah, I'm really excited. It looks like a really nice one. And we haven't tasted Kaiserschwarm yet, which is an Austrian kind of pancake, all cut up with like sauce on top. So we're going to try to find it here. Oh, that looks amazing. That's the same price as that tiny thing that we had earlier. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh. This is Kais of Schwam. Hot cut up pancakes and then we got a side of apricot sauce with it. Mm. 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 So good. My day is made. This is all I need. Mm. The pancakes are super fluffy and the plums are not too sweet. It's a little bit tart. It goes so well together. I think this is our favorite market so far. So lively, so much going on. They're playing the trumpets, there's a little ride for kids. But at the same time, the queues aren't very long for the food. And the stalls are so unique because like lots of handcrafted goods. Ooh, we stumbled upon something really interesting. We're going to try something called Riesen German Knödel with Mohn. Thank you. Thank 
you. Oh. It looks a bit like a bow, you just have to but I don't think it is. In any way, similar. This is like vanilla pudding with bread. It's really good. Actually, it does taste like a bao. Yeah. So it's like a bao bun with something inside, like a syrup. And then on the outside, it's coated with vanilla pudding and sesame seeds or poppy seeds, one of the two. So we just asked, and it turns out that on top is ground poppy seed with sugar, and inside is like a thick plum sauce. So that is a real tree and it's 18 meters high. Amazing. Can you believe that? I'm still sorry, I'm still eating. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a fake tree, but looking closer, it's actually real. It's beautiful. Stand dedicated to pretzels, and they have all kinds of pretzels. But they have sugary ones, savory ones with cheese, or just like plain salted ones. Oh, even ones with chocolate. In front of Schönbrunn Palace at the Christmas market, there's an advent calendar. And every day, starting on the 1st of December, they open one of these little doors. And behind it is something that they sell here on the market. What an incredible day in Vienna that was. Yeah, it sure was. But we're gonna have to end it tonight before my feet and toes freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> this is our fourth and by far our favorite Christmas market. The food is delicious, the crafts are really unique and also very fairly priced. We're gonna see you tomorrow. For another magical day.